Hello everyone, this is Muskan Singh. Currently, I am working with uh, Lexis and Company as a legal intern. Today, I am going to talk about the topic environment laws. Environment laws are to protect various aspects related to environment, uh, such as their quality and control, arising issues uh, related to soil, air, water, deforestation, waste management, food safety and production, also acid rain, contamination and cleanup issues, pollution, illegal hunting of endangered species and also uh, other animals as well chemical safety radioactive chemicals and dis their disposal global warming issues greenhouse gas emissions depletion of natural resources and their sustainability also carbon emissions etc now these are all the environment issues which are covered under the laws uh, environment is an important part of our life and uh, nature protects and takes care of uh, every human being and animals and also various different species. It also provides everything uh, we need such as medicine, food, clothes, shelter, forest, fisheries, minerals, etc. Environmental laws are necessary to combat issues related to the environment and conservation of natural resources. Now let us talk about environmental laws of India. Uh, so the first law is National Green Tribunal Act 2010. It was enacted in 2010 uh, and uh, this is an act of Parliament of India to provide establishment of National Green Tribunal that is NGT for the, ex uh, uh, for the expedient and effective disposal of the cases pertaining to environmental issues um, or, uh, or conservation of forests and other natural resources. Second law is the Air uh, Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981. It is the act uh, by Parliament of India to control and prevent air pollution in India. This law was amended in 1987 and it was first uh, it was the first attempt by the government of India to combat air pollution. Third law is the Water Prevention and Control of uh, Pollution Act 1974. Uh, so this is an act to provide for the um, prevention and abatement and control over water pollution and maintenance of uh, maintenance uh, and restoring uh, restoration of wholesomeness of water now it is designed to um, access uh, pollution and le pollution levels and punish polluters also the fourth law the environment protection act 1986 the hazardous waste management regulations now it is an umbrella legislation designed to provide a framework for the coordination of central and uh, state authorities uh, established under the uh, water act 1974 for uh, the air act um, law number five is the Forest and Forest Conservation Act 1980. It is an act of the Parliament of India to provide for the conservation of forest. It was enacted by the Parliament of India to control further forestation of uh, forest uh, of area, forest areas of uh, uh, India. Sixth law is uh, the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Now this is an act uh, of the Parliament of India which was enacted for the protection of plants and animals species and the act uh, provides for the protection of wild animals and aquatic animals also birds and plants. Seventh law is the Hazardous Waste Management uh, Regulation. So hazardous waste management rules are notified that to ensure uh, safe handling uh, generation, processing, treatment, package, storage, transportation, use, uh, re uh, use of reprocessing, uh, uh, procession, uh, use of reprocession, collection, conservation, conversion, and offering for sale, destruction, and disposal of hazardous waste. Now, the eighth point is Public Liability Insurance Act 1991. So, it is an act to provide for the um, pub. Uh, to provide for the public liability insurance uh, for the purpose of providing immediate relief to the persons affected by accident occurring while handling any hazardous substance uh, and I, uh, incident. Uh, ninth law is the Biological Diverse, Diversity Act 2002. Uh, so this act was enacted by the Parliament of India for the 
preservation of biological diversity in India and to provide mechanism for equitable sharing of benefits uh, arising out of the use of national uh, biological resources and knowledge. So, tenth and last uh, law is Coastal Regulation Zone Notification that is uh, CRZ. So, it rules or uh, govern gov and it rules or uh, govern and human industrial activity close to coastline coastline and uh, in order to protect the fragile ecosystem near the sea so this was all about environmental laws in india thank you